California is a community property state, right? That means any property that I owned prior to marriage is my separate property. And after I get married, any property purchased is considered community property with my spouse. That community property could be divided between me and my spouse. I want to make sure that my separate property is passed on to my kids, not my wife. How do I do that? Hello again, this is Certified Probate Real Estate Specialist, Daryl Williams with Win Win Realtors here in Southern California. If you are new here and you like our content, be sure to like, Share and subscribe. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to take a look at some common strategies on how to protect your separate property and your inherited property before, during, and after a divorce. Common strategy number one. Keep your separate and inherited property from being commingled with the community property. In other words, don't mix these properties whatsoever. If you have inherited cash, don't use any of your inherited cash to pay any of your community property expenses, nor open any community property joint accounts. Another common strategy is to establish a living trust. I have heard some attorneys say that you should establish an offshore asset protection trust along with an LLC for the best protection. Remember, a trust will allow you to designate what assets you want to go to what beneficiaries. Another common strategy in order to protect your separate and inherited property is to prepare a prenuptial or a postnuptial agreement. As you know, a prenuptial agreement can speak to your separate and inherited property before you get married, and a postnuptial agreement will speak to your separate and inherited property after your divorce. <laughs> Another common strategy that people tend to forget or to neglect is to update your will or create a new will whenever you get married or get divorced. If you update your will or create the new will, that is an opportunity for you to clearly clarify what you want done with your separate or inherited property. <laughs> Maintaining proper record keeping of your separate and inherited property is a critical strategy. If you inherit a house, keep the title in your name only and do not move anyone in terms of wife and family into your house. You want to keep that house completely separate from your primary residence of you and your wife. A common mistake some people have done, they've taken inherited money and gone out and bought things like a car, a house, open up joint accounts. That's a problem. You've now mixed or commingled that inherited property. And when getting a divorce, you may have a major problem on your hands. Question of the day. Have you ever had disputes over assets you thought were your personal assets? However, during a period of a divorce, your wife disputed that. If so, let us know what happened in the comments below. The bottom line is, be very careful to keep separate property and inherited property away from community property. 
Do not commingle the property or give the perception of commingling the property. Take detailed records of all of your separate property and your inherited property. And make sure you consult an experienced attorney about your personal situation of protecting your assets and maintaining your separate and inherited property from community property. I'm Daryl Williams. This is Win Win Rule Tours TV. If you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to contact me. This video has been for information purposes only. It is not legal advice. I am not an attorney. If you need an attorney, please contact one. If you need an estate planning or probate attorney in the Southern California area, feel free to contact me for a referral.